Okay, my name is Chow, and I'm going to show you how to add contour lines to a map using Google SketchUp. So when you first load up SketchUp, you want to find um, this button here, Add Locations. Um, I've already clicked it, and it'll pop up with this map here. Um, this is the actual site that I'm going to be working on, or I am already working on. Um, this is the front garden um, that I have. Um, it's pretty neat. You can see the labyrinth, the butterfly garden, rose garden, and there's a pond, and this is our community garden over here. Uh, it's a pretty sizable area. So, doing that, I'm going to select the region. Um, I like to see a little bit of the surrounding area just to see how water is influencing this landscape. I'm going to grab it. Google click it, you're going to notice it has these red lines. Um, these red lines are not going to allow you to um, edit this picture. Um, you'll also n notice on your layer screen, and if you don't see it, go to Window, and bear with me, click Layers and you'll be able to see this. Uh, if you check up Google Terrain, you'll notice that the land kind of alters. Um, let's go ahead and take off the snapshot, which is our flat view, and this was going to actually show us the 3D terrain of the area. Now, neat thing is about using SketchUp is that this is to scale. This is 150, 165 feet. You can look down here in this corner. Um, you can see if you want to do spacings with plants, um, you can determine how far away they are from each other. And this is the tape measure tool. And I'm clicking T as the hotkey, um, but it's just this here and um, I'm pressing spacebar to go back to the mouse. So I don't care so much about the flat landscape for the moment. Um, I want to alter this terrain. So you want to right click and hit unlock. It'll change it to blue. And the next thing we want to do is explode it. And this is going to allow us to manipulate every single square inch of this entire map. Now to get the contours um, of this area, what we're going to do is make slices um, and I want to make a rectangle and you're going to notice how it intersects there. Well that line right there is a contour line um, that is going to allow us to uh, figure out how high or how much elevation there is throughout the map. So I'm going a single click, I need a triple click, and you see these lines here highlight to a darker blue. I want to make this into a group. Um, get myself situated. And I'm going to copy that. it. And I'm going to move the next slice um, one foot away from it. And you'll see just a slight discrepancy and I will select both of those select all four of those now and likewise I will I'm finding the endpoints between each one of them I'll go up one foot and go through and select out your model. So I'm getting the end point here, putting it on the bottom face there, zooming out. Um, I still got a good piece of the model still showing. So we'll do one more, just right on top. And just a little bit more. and that should overwhelm it. Next thing I'll do is I'm going to select all of those slices, right click, hit intersect faces with model. This might take a moment. And once that's done, 
every single area where these slices intersect the Google terrain will show us a nice black contour line. I'll just let that load real quick. And once that all of these, put down your swales, um, mark out your garden beds on contour. Um, there's quite a variety of tricks and if you actually wanted to there's actually ways to manipulate the landscape so if you actually wanted to you could um, actually carve out your swales onto SketchUp um, you could manipulate the land to build your dam and so forth um, so it's it's very versatile and it looks like we're done so I want to select those slices delete them and I'm going to hit command 1 I'm using a Mac and you'll see here we have these nice beautiful contour lines one foot apart and you can kind of see that water flows down very steeply around this area now this goes to, to say though that this isn't entirely accurate um, you still still need to do your um, on-site analysis um, real briefly this is a stormwater runoff area it's a drain for the city um, so I know that there is an extreme um, slope that goes down there it's about 10-15 feet in some areas and enough water flows into this that um, it'll just wash away everything in its paths its path and uh, we actually have a TP over over here we had a land bridge and that got washed away um, so this is just for real general um, site analysis especially if you can't be on a particular area um, but it's pretty it, it's still pretty good um, this is what I'm working on right now um, I've already mapped out the utility lines and this is the actual site design that I'm working on at the moment. Um, so there's, there's many things that you can do with this. So that's how you add contour lines to your Google map. Uh, my name is Chow. I'm with Community Cultivators in Dallas-Fort Worth. Um, helped out a little bit with Austin and that's it for today. Goodbye.